Yo, yo, yo. How you doing, ladies and gents? I am super excited for this episode. If you are listening, whether you're on the way to the gym, you're going out on a walk, and you don't see this on video, I feel kind of bad for you <laughs> because uh, I'm bringing on somebody that is my beard inspiration, my inspiration in a lot of ways. So I'm bringing on a dude who is an entrepreneur, he's an influencer, uh, he's a speaker, he's the national coordinator and partner of, of Consolidated Assurance. It's a niche insurance agency with agents across the US. Um, he's also the president of No Hook Media. In 2014, this dude was basically a loser, <laughs> totally unemployed. 2015, he made 300 grand, not too shabby. 2016, he made 450 grand, not too shabby. And in 2017, he made 650K. So as you're seeing, he is the inspiration, like what I have of, like that's secretly why I have him on, is they say that you're the average of the five people you associate with most. And there's so many things about this dude that I just want to steal like the energetic magic that's <laughs> around him. So what changed for him to go from home, or like unemployed to doing what he's doing? Well, in short, or in a word, everything, everything changed. Uh, He's waged a war on personal change, which I also dig. If you followed my stuff, going like from losing 50 pounds to like leaving my religion, like just going after things to like always going after things that are increasing your vibration and your impact on the world, I'm into that. And in 2000, actually the beginning of 2017, he started documenting his life on social media. And uh, he now has uh, two podcasts and a daily vlog known as The Daily Bread. And in less than two years, he's grown his presence on social media from zero to over 49 million in weekly reach. Most importantly, he's a husband uh, and a father to two, the two loves of his life. So again, I'm bringing on my man, my friend, my beard inspiration, <laughs> Tyler Harris. What is, what that, is man? up, man? I, I, I'd love to have like, and in 2018, he became a loser again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it if came you, full if circle. Really, if, <laughs> if you, uh, if you're really into, uh, I, <laughs> I know you dig, both of us have an appreciation for Gary Vee and some of the yes. stuff that he's taught and stuff. Um, the down would be kind of not too bad, right? Because then you just huh. get to come up and rise like a Phoenix again yeah, and man. say, told you. Once you once you figure out how to do it, you can do it again. It's not that yeah. big a deal. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's what I say all the time. I don't want to just be a millionaire. Like I would probably not like it that much. It'd be kind of cool if somebody like if I won the lottery and things like that. Yeah. But I don't know how excited I would be. Well, who was that? that? Someone at Meltdown was like, "Hey, if if somebody said that, I'll give you fifty million dollars today, or you can earn twelve million over the next X number of years, which would you take? And everyone's like, let's earn the 12 million. And he's like, no, uh -huh. <laughs> like that's the dumbest thing ever. Like you'll take the 50. Where did like, you, I don't, where do you <laughs> land on that? Because I got his point, but I was like, yeah. I don't know. At the same time, I, I, I want to kind of change. Yeah. Cause he was making like, where do you land? Are you taking the 50? I'm taking the 50 all day. Um, just because that I learning, the that. learning experience of what you'll build and lose and grow from the 50 like he said, I mean, if you lose Good 38 point. of it, you still got the 12 left. <laughs> Good point. Good point. And so, you'll get a lot of character growth. Yeah. But I think there's cool. – I think that, you know, the the me that I am today could do a lot of good with the 50. If I would have been given the 50 10 years ago, it would be a very, very bad world <laughs> yeah. that I would be living in at that time. So um, now that we got that out of the way, um, <laughs> how are things? Like what's what's the last year been like for you? Certainly because you're going deeper. Like one of the things that you're doing like in a way <laughs> being pretty vulnerable, putting your your yeah. – yourself out there your feelings on it your your feelings around your shirt sleeve and before you go answer that like one thing i want to say about you that i think is we were chatting a little bit beforehand is somebody like gary vaynerchuk that's kind of a model for a lot of people there's millions of people that follow him literally millions he gives a lot of advice and stuff like that and the percentage of people that actually attempt to execute on the 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 things that he says or what anybody says like is really fucking small versus those that 
that actually just watch him and things like yeah. that. And Gary Vee is just the proxy here. But you're somebody that is actually going at things, trying it, putting yourself out there on social media. And I want to commend you for that. Thank you, that, man. Thank you. To, to do that. So what's it been like, man, over the last year? It's been, uh, it's been, it's been crazy. Like I think, yeah. um, just like what you said, trying to go after this blueprint that Gary's laid out. Um, I've learned a lot from it and I've learned finding your own space as well. Yeah, like that. Finding my own space. But also there's a lot that I've learned lately that just because somebody else uh, says this is what you should do doesn't mean it necessarily is what you specifically yeah. should do. Um, and I like, resonate with that. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and quite frankly, I, I think I'm pretty sure Gary might be an alien. Like that's, that's the conclusion that I've come to, uh, mm -hmm. is I think he might be an alien and he might be the only person that can do what he's actually doing. I, and I don't that. know if that's a great thing. Um, to kind yeah, of depends just because, on the person. because you can't necessarily model it. Yeah, you can't model it. And he's just, I mean, he's made some decisions in his life that I just, man, at the end of Would it. Would not work for you. Well, yeah. Like at the end of it, I just don't know if it's going to be those last couple of pages of the biography that I always read. I wish I would have spent more time with my family. Um, uh, you know, like that's, that's well, what you're I definitely, feel like. Yeah, because you're definitely more into that. And like he, yeah. he, he is not around his family as much. At least we don't see that. Yeah. I, I don't know like how much time he's spending at the end of his day, like at 11 p.m. when he gets home or anything like that, yeah. or on Saturday and Sunday because a lot of times he's not posting on social or yeah. at least documenting those days. But you're saying for you, yeah, you need for that me, more. and that's and that's been a transition really over the last few months, man. It's it's been huge for me. Uh -huh. And so this idea, I actually did a post this morning on Instagram where I talked about this. Like, is it leaving a legacy in your family, or is it leaving a legacy for your family? Because to mm -hmm. me, the idea of le leaving a legacy for your family means you're gone. Like that's when you're dead. It's what yeah. you left for them. But leaving a legacy in your family is something that, something that you're doing currently. It's like you're still around. And yeah. so my focus is now switched tremendously. I'm spending way more time with my family, way more time at home, and way more just intentional time uh, with my daughter and my wife. Um, trying to leave a legacy in them. And have them be a part of that, not having them to literally have to go to these videos and vlogs and podcasts to learn stuff from me that they should have been learning in person. I mean, it's crazy. Like, it sounds so simple. No, it's but you get caught simple. up. You get caught up in this um, this world we're all trying to live on social media and trying to just do more and more and more. And realize that, like, every morning I was just waking up in chaos, but it was self inflicted yep. chaos. And so now just a whole new whole new frame of reference for me um turning my phone on airplane mode an hour before bed no, no. and an hour yep. after i wake up uh, meditating first thing in the morning gratitude journaling first thing in the morning uh -huh. and just that little change right there i mean the airplane mode is just drastic but that with the <laughs> meditation and journaling it's like starting my day intentionally starting my day yes. on purpose and what yes. i want um, has changed absolutely everything. And it's kind of, it's really helped with that feeling of waking up and you feel late and rushed and behind. And I'm like, late to what? Like, <laughs> like absolutely. It's crazy. Dude, I love it, man. Cause what I'm hearing is you're basically stepping into Tyler Hera. Yeah. It's cool to have like some models and things like that to get started. But at the end of the day, man, you have to do what feels right to you. Like you mentioned like meditation, for example, yep. that's something like I get a lot of value from that. Gary Vee doesn't meditate. Uh, I get a lot of value from listening to books, reading books and stuff like that. He doesn't do that. Yeah. So <clears throat> I think that's, I think that's important. And you could take a step back and say, well, in a in a way, in a way you still are, which is cool, which is you're becoming self-aware Yep. and you can, you're not being somebody else. And I think that is so important. Absolutely. To do that. One thing that I also think is a big smart thing that you did is you have a coach. Yeah. Dude, that changed my world yep. when I hired my first business coach. I wouldn't be on this conversation with you right now if I didn't do that. That is yep. – like if anybody's listening to this, like if you can have a coach in some way – Michael Jordan had like seven coaches. Like so many people that perform at high levels have coaches because they can 
see things that you can't see, but just like your coach did for you, guided you down a path that it took you 11 fucking hours to get to it. Oh, yeah. But how cool was that when that got uncovered? Awesome. It's changing the way you act and behave yeah. in your world, Absolutely. like no airplane mode. By the way, speaking of no airplane mode, there's this idea that I'm playing with <laughs> that I'm probably going to start um, this month, actually. <laughs> and it, it's I'm really curious about it to see what happens. Yeah. So uh, you know how you and I both are pretty much this way where we're pretty consistent yep. on social media posting every day. So I'm thinking of playing with the model of like a magazine where they have magazines in circulation, but they're not creating – a lot of magazines aren't creating a new piece of – a new page every day, mm -hmm. right? They give out the whole book, hmm. and then that whole magazine is there for like a week or a month, right? So follow me on this. I'm thinking of playing with this idea. Uh, to see what happens if I do what I'm calling a content drop, where literally I'm going to <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to create my week's worth of content and drop it all in a single day, huh. like my my 14 plus quote cards, my videos, all in a single day, so that then. Um, I consider that like I'm a media company or I'm a magazine yep. and that's my – like people have a predictable time that this is when it's all coming. They can find and take whatever they want to take just like a magazine. And then as a person that – like I have other things I want to do. I have different things I want to balance. I disconnect an airplane mode social media for the other six days. Hmm. And – Kind of what my thinking is there too is I will also learn what's actually staying alive yeah. based on like what's alive when I come back a week. Like yep. what have people been sharing? What page of the magazine is, is like still around? Sure. Like what can I do to adjust? So anyway, that's just a, an idea. That's that interesting, man. I've it's never really seen, interesting. Like, I don't I don't know within the algorithm if that's going to get just destroyed by either. it. <laughs> the algorithm will be like, okay, this is spam, spam, yeah. spam. They're like, don't Holy show up crap. a single thing. But, but it's I'm interesting. To let's try it. I'm going to do it for at the about very a month. at the very least. You may figure out that you can keep that model for you, and then have someone totally. else that's releasing it daily for you. Um, yeah, maybe that helps you with your balance. I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It might be overload for people to. It'll be interesting. Have you ever, have you ever read the book Deep Work? I have not. I think it's something similar that you would like right now yeah. in this transition of like getting more into you and like thinking mm -hmm. more thoughtfully, going deeper. Uh, that had a lot of influence on me this year, actually, huh. uh, because people's best work, like people that make really big impact overall like go deep in something yeah and you feel better when you're going deep in something and you're not mm -hmm. just on the surface or the shallow oh, yeah. and i just think about like what i would do or what i would create if i'm not always being like a quick distraction away from getting oh, yeah. lost and i wrote a book um a couple of years ago and that was one of the coolest i've never felt more connected to like my my soul, like having to intensely focus on something that I was creating. Yeah. And I wonder, like, what if I was living that way, hmm. like more consistently? So, yeah. No, that's, that's huge. I, mean, I love, and I'll check out that book because I've been talking so much lately about this idea that you can drown in three inches of water. Yes. And that that's where 99.9% .9 of social media lives. They live in yeah. that three inches. And mm -hmm. that I've just taken this stand and said that I want to go deep in every conversation, every interaction um, yes. with everybody. And it's, it's been amazing since, since I've made that decision, the connections that I've made with people and the real value that I've been able to actually yeah. provide just by the connections and going deeper in a conversation and have it to where people all of a sudden feel like this idea of creating space, creating space for them yes. to open up and to talk about the real stuff. Um, and it's amazing how some of it, it's just, you know, the law of attraction. Uh, I'm sitting, I was smoking a cigar on my front porch last night and my neighbor who I've only met one time, I've lived in this house for a year. I've only met him one time and he just walks over <laughs> it was very random. And he's like, Hey man, I just want to shake your hand. I'm really? Like, okay. 
And he said, uh, yeah, he's like a guy down the road, like somewhere in our neighborhood. We live downtown here in Greenville, South Carolina. And he's like, get on the road. A guy down the road asked me if I had seen your hustle videos. <laughs> and I'm like, hustle videos? He's like, yeah. He's like, so I looked you up on, on Facebook. And this guy is older than me. Um, not old, but older than me. But uh, he said, I looked you up on Facebook. And I was scrolling through the videos and just randomly picked one. And... Uh, I had mentioned Sean Whalen in that video and that who's I who's your coach, right? Yeah. Who's my coach and the impact that he's made on my life. And he's like, so I Googled Sean and joined the lion's den with Sean and read Sean's book and I'm meditating in the morning. And this all happened like over the last, like, I guess, couple of months all without me knowing, like I had no idea mm -hmm. that this guy that lives next door to me is like, you know, checking out my content and like made uh -huh. an impact on his life. He sent me this super nice message on Facebook last night afterwards and wants to connect and, and all. But we had like a 30-minute conversation on my front porch. Um, that would have never happened other than the fact yeah. that like the second he started talking, I, I told him about that idea, that concept of this three inches of water. And we just started talking about real stuff and just explained the importance of – especially for men – especially yeah. for men like men walk around and they don't have real conversations and they don't so have true. space to, to have real connections with people because they're, you know, alpha males and everything's great. Yep. And never show yep. weakness and all that. And, and I've just come to realize that there's no nobility <laughs> in trying to pretend like everything's okay. Um, yes. and, and when everything is okay, trying to be that for someone else. Yeah. Um, I just think that it's, it's that more strength. important than we realize. Friend.